question number 33. Now, in this question, we are defining function f from domain set of real number to codomain given as closed interval of minus half to half and the function is defined as f x equal x upon 1 plus x square for every x belongs to r. Now, we have to check nature of the function whether the given function is 1 1 or many 1 and also we have to decide whether this given function is into or onto. Now, for this we find derivative of the function. When we find derivative of this function we apply quotient rule and we find it as minus this time 2 x which on simplifying we get minus times of x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 upon 1 plus x square whole square. So, when we apply sin of f dash x we have x equal 1 we have x equal minus 1 of course, this will be minus this will be plus this will be minus. So, this will be the point of local minimum as the sign of derivative changes from minus sign to plus sign in the neighborhood of this point and this will be the point of local maximum as the sign of derivative changes from plus sign to minus sign about point x equals 1. Also, we can see that this function is odd function and also we can see that when we find limit x approaching infinity of this function f x this will be equal to 0 and also limit x approaching minus infinity of the same function will also be equal to 0. So, when we draw the graph of this function we can see that the function will be appearing like this because limit x approaching to infinity we find value of function approaching to 0 and the graph of this function is also passing through origin. This will be the point of maximum and at this point the value of function will be equal to half and this will be the point of minimum and at this point the value of the function will be minus half. So, from this graph of function f x we can see that the range of this function will be equal to close minus half to half which is given our codomain of the function. So, our function becomes surjective, but when we draw a line parallel to x axis we can see it cuts the graph of the function at more than one point. From this we can say that function is not injective and therefore, the function is surjective, but not injective. So, our answer 4 will be correct therefore, answer 4 will be correct. Question number 34, we are given a statement if p then q denial of p then q and we have to decide whether this statement is a tautology or fallacy or equivalent to some other statement. So, we draw truth table for this we write p then q. Now, if p is true we can take q also true, true then false, false then true and both false. Now, here we have denial of p so, we make another column and for denial of p if p is true then of course, denial of p will be false again true it will be false, false then again it will be true, false then it will be true. Now, first we find if p then q as we know very well in this type of statement if p is true and q is false then this will have value false otherwise it will have value true. So, here p is true and q is true. So, it will be true, but here p is true q is false. So, in this case it will take value false and in all other cases it will take value t. Now, after this we find this statement. Now, for this statement this is denial of p which is here 
and this is q which is here again it will take value false when this will be true and this will be false. So, here this will be true and this is false in this case it will take value false and in all other cases it will take value true. Now, finally, come to this statement we have this then q. Now, for this statement this is here again this q is here. Now, this will have value false when this will be true and this will be false. Is there any case let us check this is true and this is here false this is true and this is here false. So, in this case it will take value false and in all other cases it will take value true. Now, finally, we come to our statement and which is p tends to q tends to denial of p tends to q. Now, for this we have to consider this column and we have to consider this column again for this statement it will have truth value true when this will be true and this will be false. So, let us check we have this column let us check when this is true is it false when this is true is it false is it true is it we have to check this column with this column. So, let us see when this is true is it false or not. So, when it is true it is true so it will be true when it is true it is true. So, here all the logical reasoning are true and from this we conclude that the given statement is a tautology because all the logical possibilities are true. So, it become a tautology and from this we conclude that our right answer is true.